Uh, in the red, in the upper right hand corner of the map here. Who is 2 and 0 oh for his team right now, taking down Cheese King and Lumpas so far. His next opponent, interestingly, picking Catalina despite being a pros player up against a Terran. So maybe he has something planned here. It's going to be the green pros from MIA. It's Grey Warden. Zoom, spin, spin, zoom out, spin, zoom, super zoom. Oh, it's an exciting life. Dana, dana. Dana. Very excited. As you can tell by the camera movements at the start of this game. Not really too much to say right now. As uh, we get ready to go into this gateway. On the way up here for Grey One to start things off, just a single gas for now. Gasless play from Igers so far. May go for that 15 gas once again as he did against Cheese King. And it looks as though that's exactly what he's going to be doing here. So 15 gas once again from our Terran player. And, uh, well, hmm. So yeah, he goes 15 gas again. So yeah, I wonder what he's, I mean, because we didn't really get to see him go for his build last time, because he kind of changed it to deal with what his opponent was going for. So it'll be interesting to see what exactly, uh, how, how he goes for it, uh, goes about it this time around, when we're probably going to see it play out a bit more normally. Although that being said, I say it's going to play out a bit more normally, and we look over here and we've got double gas for Cheese King as well. Uh, sorry, for Greywood as well, as, uh, you know, Cheese, this is what Cheese King did. Well, he had three workers in each gas, Grey Warden only with two in each. So it's a little bit more gas than your standard kind of one gas expand or so, but it's definitely still possible to expand from this. So I'll keep an eye on this and see where it's going to go. For now, just a uh, power one coming up to the top side of this base. And, um, yeah, not really too much going on right now, early on here. Just a bunker on the way up, back at home, command centre for Igers. Um, he's stayed in gas, so he's going to be putting this factory down. Waiting to see what uh, Cheese King is going to get up to then. I mean, he's cut this extra gas, but he is, uh, sorry, I keep calling him Cheese King. I'm so sorry, guys. I uh, apologize to Grey Warden in there, my, um, yeah, sorry, Grey Warden. I'm interested to see what he's going to get up to. He is going to drop the Nexus. Um... But yeah, guys, my music is on, so I don't know where the music is. So I'm sorry for there not being. I don't know where it is. It should be here. Like, you no, know, it was. I just disabled it and re-enabled it. I don't know. Anyways, we've got Twilight Council coming down here for Grey Warden, so he's going to be looking to um, go into this and look to see. Uh, uh, what exactly this could lead to? Maybe Dark Templar. Maybe Blink. I mean, Blink's an okay, uh, is okay on this map, um, so let's see what he's going to do. This uh, SCV trying to scout here, but Iger's not really able to get in there, get any information. He never even actually saw the second gas, so he really has no idea what's going on at all right now. As a Blink is going to start researching here for Grey Warden. So um, Blink coming in, and apart from that, was I mean, Blink not really too crazy, pretty standard. We actually have a tech lab coming in from Iger's, and that's very interesting. So he's really quite worried about what's going on right now in this game. A couple more marines coming out of this barracks and um, yeah just marines coming out to the edge of the ramp as uh, did, what did he just cancel? Um, was that, I think that was a turret he just cancelled because he just scanned the natural and he saw the natural so he saw the natural he said okay cool and he's gonna move down take his own uh, natural now and salvages his bunker as well. Turret at the front and um, a couple of gateways being added on for Grey Warden so just gonna be a little bit of uh, stalker pressure with that blink in the near future and uh, shouldn't really be able to kill Igos, although that being said, I mean, he's going a really weird way about this because he's gone Barracks, Factory, Starport, but he's got f gone for so much in between because he's been so worried about something. So I kind of feel like he's completely misread this game and, you know, at this point in time, he should probably already have a medevac out and across the map, but instead he doesn't and 
because of that, Grey Warden's able to get Stalkers across to his opponent's side of the map. And the worst thing about this for uh, Igus is, because he is still just going for this kind of couple of mines and a few marines and a smedivac, he doesn't actually have that many units to really deal with this. So he doesn't have any marauders. This is going to probably do quite a lot of damage from Grey Warden here in the next few moments. Stalkers blink up to the high ground, and I'm going to start working away on this uh, tech lab on the factory, which, I mean, it hasn't been used for anything so far. As the mine just burrow here, but it's going to get taken down, not able to do anything, and Marines get caught in a time warp, another uh, mine going to fall. And, I mean, Stalker's going to be able to blink up and join this fight uh, out of the time warp. Now, this Stalker's going to continue trading, and uh, he's actually just going to blink down, uh, blink backwards here instead of uh, down to the low ground. He loses his mothership core, but I think there's just too many Stalkers here, and this uh, unit's uh, having to be picked up into the medevac. Never a good sign. And, um, well, he's going to start taking some damage on this factory. SCV's being pulled with these Marines, and... Grey Warden, is he going to be able to do this? He's going to be able to kill a lot of SCVs here, but if he blinks everything out right now, he's not going to be able to get back in because he has no more high ground vision. So he needs to be very careful if he decides to blink everything out because he's not getting back up there. And for now, he's trying to keep one stalker alive. You can see he maybe wants to blink back in, but no, he decides to just go out and he's going to redirect his attack, I imagine, towards the front. Well, he's actually already been working down on this bunker. And uh, this first bunker's taking a lot of damage. SCVs having to be pulled off the line to keep it alive, just keeping it alive there, might I add. And, um,. Stalkers moving forwards and uh, looking to see what they can maybe do, but not too much right now as uh, they're going to try and take down a few more Marines and is he going to have enough to defend this bunker? Well, he actually just blinks past the bunker and he's going to go up into the main base. I guess called good game and that was a little bit weird that one. Um, I kind of feel as though I guess completely misread the situation and he prepared for